the next generation of gaming consoles is here, with Sony's PlayStation 5 and Microsoft's Xbox Series X vying for supremacy in living rooms around the world. Both of these powerhouse systems promise cutting-edge graphics, blazing fast load times, and immersive new gaming experiences, but how do they stack up against each other? Let's dive into a detailed comparison of the PS5 and Xbox Series X to see which console comes out on top. Design and build. Let's start with the physical design of these consoles. The PlayStation 5 features a striking futuristic look with its curved white panels and glowing blue accent lighting. It's a large console, standing at 15.4 inches tall when vertical, and its unique shape certainly makes a statement. The Xbox Series X, on the other hand, opts for a more minimalist design. Its compact rectangular tower shape, measuring 11.8 inches tall, resembles a small gaming PC. The Xbox's matte black finish gives it a sleek, understated look that may blend better into entertainment centers. While aesthetics are subjective, the PS5's bold design has proven somewhat divisive. The Xbox Series X's simpler form factor may be preferable for those wanting a less conspicuous console. However, the PS5's larger size allows for better cooling and quieter operation. Hardware Specs Under the hood, both consoles pack some serious horsepower. The PS5 and Xbox Series X both utilize custom AMD Zen 2-based CPUs and RDNA 2 GPUs. The Xbox has a slight edge in raw GPU power at 12 teraflops compared to the PS5's 10.28 teraflops. However, the PS5 boasts a faster SSD with 5.5 gigabits per second raw throughput versus the Xbox's 2.4 gigabits per second. Both consoles target 4K resolution gaming at 60 frames per second, with support for up to 120 FPS at lower resolutions. They also both support ray tracing for more realistic lighting and reflections. In practice, the performance difference between the two is minimal in most cross-platform games. One key hardware difference is the PS5's innovative DualSense controller. Its advanced haptic feedback and adaptive triggers provide a new level of immersion that the Xbox controller can't match. The Xbox controller maintains the familiar and comfortable design of its predecessor, but doesn't push boundaries in the same way. Storage and expandability. The PS5 comes with an 825GB custom SSD, while the Xbox Series X includes a 1TB SSD. However, the usable space on both is less due to the operating system. The PS5 allows users to expand storage with compatible M.2 SSDs, while the Xbox uses proprietary expansion cards. The Xbox's solution is simpler but more expensive, while the PS5 offers more flexibility but requires some technical know-how to upgrade. Both consoles also support external USB hard drives for storing and playing backward compatible games, though next-gen titles must be on the internal SSD or approved expansions to utilize the full speed benefits. Backward compatibility. Microsoft has put a strong emphasis on backward compatibility with the Xbox Series X. It can play games from every previous Xbox generation, often with enhancements like higher resolutions and frame rates. The PS5 is backward compatible with the vast majority of PS4 games, many of which also receive performance boosts. However, it lacks support for PS3, PS2, and PS1 games, giving Xbox an advantage for those with extensive legacy game libraries. Game Library and Exclusives both consoles have impressive lineups of games, but they take different approaches. Sony continues to focus on big-budget, narrative-driven exclusives like God of War, Ragnarok, Horizon Forbidden West, and Spider-Man, Miles Morales. Microsoft has been building its stable of first-party studios and now owns heavyweight developers like Bethesda and Activision Blizzard. This gives Xbox access to major franchises like The Elder Scrolls, Fallout, and Call of Duty. The PlayStation 5 arguably had a stronger launch lineup and has maintained a steady stream of high-profile exclusives. However, Xbox's studio acquisitions promise an exciting future game lineup. Both consoles, of course, have access to a wide array of third-party multi-platform titles. Online services and subscriptions. Microsoft's Xbox Game Pass service has been a game-changer, offering a Netflix-like subscription for hundreds of games, including day one access to all Xbox Game Studios titles, Sony's competing PlayStation Plus service has improved, 
now offering a tiered subscription model with a large game library, but it still doesn't match the value proposition of Game Pass. Xbox also offers better cross-platform play and cross-save functionality across Xbox, PC, and mobile devices through its Xbox network. PlayStation has made strides in this area, but still lags behind in terms of ecosystem integration. User Interface and Features Both consoles offer refined and responsive user interfaces. The PS5's UI feels more revolutionary, with its activity cards and game help features providing quick access to specific game modes and built-in hints. The Xbox Series X interface will feel familiar to Xbox One users, prioritizing continuity and ease of use. The Xbox Series X offers some unique features like quick resume, allowing players to switch between multiple games instantly. Both consoles support variable refresh rates and auto-low latency mode on compatible displays. Price and value? At launch, both the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X were priced at $499 USD for their standard editions. This pricing puts them on equal footing in terms of initial investment. However, the overall value proposition depends on factors like game preferences, subscription services, and ecosystem buy-in. Positive points for PlayStation 5. 1. Innovative DualSense controller with advanced haptics and adaptive triggers. 2. Faster SSD for quicker load times. 4. Unique UI features like activity cards and built-in game help. 5. VR support with PSVR and upcoming PSVR 2. 6. Excellent backward compatibility with PS4 titles. Positive points for Xbox Series X. 1. More powerful GPU, 12 teraflops GPU. 2. Excellent backward compatibility across all Xbox generations. 3. Xbox Game Pass offers incredible value. 4. Better ecosystem integration across Xbox, PC, and mobile. 5. More compact design may fit better in some entertainment setups. Negative points for PlayStation 5. 1. Large divisive design may not suit all tastes or spaces. 2. Less internal storage out of the box, 825 GB SSD. 3. More complex storage expansion process. 4. Limited backward compatibility compared to Xbox. 5. PlayStation Plus doesn't match the value of Xbox Game Pass. 6. PlayStation Now streaming service not as robust as Xbox Game Pass. Negative points for Xbox Series X. 1. Controller lacks innovation compared to PS5's DualSense. 2. Slower SSD speeds. 3. Expensive proprietary storage expansion. 4. UI lacks some of the newer features found on PS5. Conclusion. Both the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X are impressive next-generation consoles that offer significant improvements over their predecessors. The PS5 stands out with its innovative controller, unique exclusives, and faster SSD, while the Xbox Series X offers more raw power, extensive backward compatibility, and the excellent value of Game Pass. Ultimately, the choice between these consoles may come down to personal preferences, favorite game franchises, and existing ecosystem investments. Both platforms provide fantastic gaming experiences and are sure to delight players throughout this console generation.